Welcome to your October New Moon Partial Solar Eclipse Guided Meditation. This new moon marks a special, powerful new moon unlike any other. New moons are normally used to set intentions for the next two weeks, but what makes this new moon very special is the fact that it is also in conjunct with a partial solar eclipse, making the energy of the intentions that we set today carry out for the next six months. As this month's new moon is in Scorpio, the month is about healing from the past, which includes confronting some of the shadow behaviors including playing power games, having obsessions, or being possessive, jealous, and needing to control everything and everyone around you. These can be personal to you, or they could be coming from people around you. Using this time to let go of any of these tendencies, helping you propel yourself forward. If you haven't already done so, find yourself in a comfortable seated or laying down position. Make any adjustments that are required at this time. Allow yourself to sit still for the next 30 minutes. Gift your mind, body, and soul this time to realign and set the tone for the next six months. Take a deep belly inhale for four, three, two, one and exhale for four, three, two, one, and inhale for four, three, two, one, and an exhale for four, three, two, one. A deep belly inhale for four, three, two, one, and hold for four, three, two, one, and an exhale for four, three, two, one. You may resume your regular breathing. At any point during this meditation, if you feel your heart start to race, your mind start to race, the urge to itch a body part, I want you to bring your awareness back to your inhales and exhales making them equal length inhale and equal length exhales. Imagine that you are standing at the edge of 10 stairs going down. With each step, you're telling yourself you're going deeper and deeper into meditation. You are imagining your feet walking down the stairs the feeling your feet would feel, how hard the floor is. Each exhale and each step down, you're telling yourself you're going deeper and deeper into meditation. At the end of the stairs, you approach a door, you open the door and into a space that brings you joy, that brings peace to your mind. Now this can be a made up place, this could be a happy memory. We are going to label this space your happy space. 
the space in your mind that you can go to when you are feeling overwhelmed, stressed out, or you just need a little breather from the outside world. You can always return to this space in your mind. Sit in this space for a little bit and create or look around your surroundings. Really anchoring yourself into this happy place. A partial solar eclipse can usher in feelings of optimism, but there could also be a sense of urgency to own up to past experiences. You can recall times when you went against your own sense of what was right, compromised living in your truth, or avoided doing what makes you feel alive. The energies around us are very potent and powerful right now, so if you don't find a way to ground yourself regularly, coming back to your happy place regularly, you might feel things more intensely and find yourself having emotions that seem uncontrollable, and it can even feel overwhelming. This is a very karmic time. It's an opportunity to find closure through release and surrender. This could involve past relationships, trauma bonds, or connections that make you feel disempowered. Sometimes this uncomfortability and the overwhelming emotions can become a little too much and it can also be hard to make sense of where these feelings are coming from. In truth, a lot of what we're experiencing may not have anything to do with you at all and it could just be the energies around us or the people around you are experiencing these energies. It's not just with you, but everyone around you has an increased awareness of the mistakes and the hidden sides of all humanity. There's a feeling of pressure to take all of the seriousness even if it's not your fault. There's a pressure to carry the world on your shoulders. Continue your deep inhales and exhales. Continue building your connection with your happy place. It is important at this time to accept the reality with the missteps and the denials that have occurred. Starting with a body scan from your feet, moving on up slowly. If there is any point in your body that feels pain, tingling, numbness, any uncomfortability, I want you to stop your body scan and grow some roots down from this area of your body 
through the floor into the soil and connecting with the already existing root system. As we continuously build our connection with the existing root system every two weeks, your connection to Mother Earth gets stronger each time. As you're able to release more and more and feel the stability and the support of Mother Earth even more as this connection grows. Slowly moving on up through your body and creating these little channels to connect to Mother Earth through your root system. Once you've completed this, I want you to give a little energetic tug so that you know a connection has been made. And then simply set the intention of releasing any energies that may have popped up as you were making your connection to your happy place. As I spoke about the partial solar eclipse, and what it represents if memories or thoughts or people or feelings and emotions came up during that time that made you feel uncomfortable now is the time to set the intention of releasing these down your channels and releasing it within the soil We always try and ground ourselves through our channels and root systems down to the earth as the soil has existed long before you and I and the soil will continue to exist long after you and I. Finding solitude and finding stability within this thought allows us to feel supported and grounded in the here and now. Handing over our worries and negative energy, emotions and feelings so that we can make space for our new intentions and the newness to come into our desired reality. As this can be a super powerful time we also want to make sure we protect ourselves. So starting from our heart, I want you to imagine your heart glowing with a bright yellow luminous light just contained within your heart for now. And then allow this heart to slowly start growing and encapsulating more parts of your body as it expands out. Nice and slow, feeling and seeing this bubble and circle growing. Seeing 
parts of your body being surrounded and being within this circle of light until your circle encapsulates your whole body and continues to grow to about two arm lengths outside of your body all around you. This circle of glowing golden bright light is a semi-permeable circle as in you control what energies come into the circle and any negative energies that are around you or sent to you will bounce off of this circle and be transformed to love and light. This powerful circle also allows positive, good intentions and energies to come through to affect you and your new intentions in a positive, growing manner. Anything that is for you can enter and anything that is not for your highest good is not allowed to enter the circle. Now that we have set a layer of protection around our mind, our soul and body, we have done some releasing to make up space within our body. As you are setting intentions, think about ways to reframe your perspective and embrace your power fully. It is time now to make peace with what has already passed and accept yourself without judgment. Allow yourself to fully inhabit your strength and detach from your inner critic. You can never fully detach from your inner critic so you can actively change your relationship with it by viewing it with compassion and forgiveness. Only then can you show up as the best version of yourself. Using this time to break out of old mindsets and beliefs that you feel that are no longer needed in your new desired life and reality. It's also a chance to think about where you are in your life and where you can let go of some control. This is not so much of the time to start planning or predicting what is to come and what is you want to bring into fruition, but more of a time for reflecting on what has been coming in acceptance and imagining your big, bright future. During this time of imagining, I want you to think about how you can let go 
of controlling and obsessive and extreme behaviors that no longer serve you. What can you contribute to the world that will add value to the lives around you? What beliefs are placing limitations on you taking full ownership of the direction of your life. What in your life needs space to grow without you trying to control everything. What makes you feel truly alive and is that something you are able to prioritize Imagining what this new reality and these new intentions would look and feel like is all you have to imagine at this moment in time. Taking this time to figure out what new intentions or old intentions you would like to continue to foster so that the next six months are slow steps moving in the right direction that you desire. Whether you're changing personal behavior, focusing on work, or addressing your relationship life, there should be no looking back at this point. Only bright-eyed excitement for your bright, luminous, protected future. Sitting in the feelings of our desired future. Forgetting about the how and when this desired reality will begin is what really brings this reality into our existence. So make sure you take this time to sit and really connect with this feeling.
Please use the remaining time of this meditation to continue imagining and sitting in the feeling of your desired future. Continue setting these new intentions that will set the tone for the next six months. I am so grateful to have led you through this 30 minute guided meditation. Please follow along every two weeks for a new moon or a full moon guided meditation. Until next time.